Later in the course, we'll see how technology has opened up the world of spoken English for language learners everywhere. The internet provides precious opportunities for listening in on English in, the, in use for many different purposes. Our expert, Professor Gary Oki, will help us to understand what listening really means so teachers can make the best use of technology for developing their listening skills. Let me begin by briefly introducing myself. My name is Gary Oki, and I'm a professor at Iowa State University. I first began uh, teaching English when I was in my early 20s. I was teaching English in uh, Taiwan, and I taught there for a few years. And I became very interested in uh, especially listening and speaking, but I'll talk about listening today. And then I, uh, I worked at the Educational Testing Service for a number of years. And there I worked on the uh, TOEFL Test of English as a Foreign Language Listening Test. And I'll talk just a little bit about that as I move on. And the other thing that I'm doing right now that is a, related to listening is I'm co-authoring a book on the assessment of listening. And in this book, we talk about what is listening ability? Should it include visual information, for example? Should it include the ability to, to accommodate to a variety of accents? And should listening be taught with only authentic material? And I'm gonna talk a little bit about each of these aspects as I answer some of the other questions that I'll be asked. So that, that gives you a little bit of an idea of my background. We will take a look at examples of the kinds of listening that students can find on the internet. Students can find interesting talks with excellent content, like this example of TED Talks, which are very popular in the United States and around the world. Students can also listen and watch News from America on the Voice of America website. As part of the course, we also explore how technology can, can connect learners around the world for oral communication in English. Our expert, Professor John Levis, will help us to understand the kind of help that students need to develop their speaking skills. We will take a look at how we can use technology for helping students to improve their pronunciation and fluency. I'm John Levis. Um, I am a um, professor in the Applied Linguistics program here at Iowa State, and I teach classes in oral communication and oral language a class in technology and oral language, and um, another graduate class in the teaching of pronunciation and speaking and listening. Um, I also teach undergraduate classes in phonetics and phonology, and this semester I'm teaching a class in dialects in American literature, and I'm co-teaching that with another faculty member. Here's one example of a website that's intended to help students with their pronunciation. Students can type in a word or a phrase into the website, and the website will do a search throughout the internet to find video that shows an example of a speaker of English saying the word or phrase that the student wanted to hear. For example, when I typed in, how's it going? The website made a search and found an example of this video where we see a person speaking and it shows the segment where he actually pronounces the expression, how's it going? There are many such segments that the computer found. In fact, for this particular, how's it going? The computer found 258 examples. That's a lot of examples to look at if you want to refine your pronunciation of how's it going? <laughs> 